You know, I was supposed to make a video, you know, called Fresh Home. And basically, like, the other day I made a video called Nine Years Ago to this day, I, I, I was first, I went to prison or whatever, and I actually came out on August the 19th, so like six days after I think the riots kicked off or something like that. Yeah, I think it might have been six days after the riots kicked off or whatever, really. And yeah, man, I remember my first day out of jail, man. That was a nice day still. I remember, obviously, I got my release date, so about like two or three weeks, yeah, about two weeks before I went to put uh, bef- two weeks before I was released, I got my release date. And what I did was I created my own calendar. So let's say, for example, it was Monday, the 1st of August. I knew that my release date was the 19th of August. So what I did was I made my own calendar. I put M for Monday, T for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, T for Thursday, F for Friday, S for Saturday, S for Sunday. Yeah? One to seven, then eight to 15, then 16 to 23, whatever. Isn't it? Yeah? I made my own calendar. I literally put this calendar you know, with blue tack or sellotape, whatever, on my wall, and every day I would strike a day off the calendar, you know, like literally counting down the days. You know? I remember when I, the day I was released. Now, one thing you don't do, yeah, like I'm not preparing no one for jail or nothing like that because we've got all positive people and stuff like that. But one thing you don't do, like I didn't even really need to be told this, I just knew, yeah. You don't tell anyone your release date. Yeah. Don't tell anyone your release date. And I heard a story to back that up as well. One guy told me, right, that he'd been in, the, when he was at one prison before, and I think he was like in Wandsworth Prison or Brixton or somewhere, in it. Yeah? He was in jail and he was in prison and there was a guy on the wing. He was a cool guy, there weren't no trouble or nothing like that. He got his release date or whatever and a couple of days before he was due to rele- get released, he was on the phone and someone was jealous so they stabbed him in his back. Now, I'm just, I find that even hard to believe. Like, you that much of a maniac, you're going to want to stab someone up in their back because you're jealous that they, they, they're getting released from prison in a couple of days' time. Because obviously, he was probably telling everyone or whatever, and it gas like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm getting released in four days, whatever, innit? Bam, 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 bam. Man, I'm going to touch road and that. Certain man will get jealous, innit? Because you could be on a wing with a man who's getting 20 years. So I knew right then and there, I knew from before anyway, yeah, don't tell no one your release date, but I knew right then and there, yeah, definitely don't tell no one your fucking release date, man. Because a man might want to try move to you or something like that just because he knows you're getting released. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, I knew right then and there, don't tell no one that you're getting released from prison, man. Yeah. Because man might try to use that against you, innit? Yeah. So, boom. So I didn't tell no one I was getting released. Yeah, not a damn person. And it was the night before I was getting released. I'm like, yeah, I'm going on tomorrow. And yeah, whatever. But just one more night of this bullshit. Yeah, one more night of this dirty cell. Innit? Yeah. But I woke up in the morning, went to exercise yard, just just chilling. Yeah, got sorry, got my breakfast first, ate my breakfast, then went to exercise yard, just chilling, thinking, yeah, this is my last day in this rascal exercise yard. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm gassed, yeah, but I didn't let no one know, innit? And then right before, yeah, so right um, right after exercise, obviously people are just starting to go back to their cell or whatever, innit, yeah? I called a couple people, I saw, basically it was one guy who actually saved me from getting my ass whooped one time because I started a fight with someone or whatever, innit, yeah? So, I thought to myself, well, you know, I owe him in it, yeah, because he saved me from getting my ass whooped in jail by like six, seven men or whatever, because I started some trouble with someone in it. Yeah? So I um I called him in myself. I ain't gonna say his real name, but let's just say his name's Bully, yeah. I called him Bully and I said, Yo, can't come to my cell, innit? Yeah? And he's like, Well, go on, man. I said to him, Yeah, fam, I'm going home today, you know. He's like, oh. Like he gave he gave my like a a manly hug. I'm like, 
like like he's sad that I'm going. Like, bro, I'm getting released, fam. Like, what's, it, what's it to be sad about? Whatever, really? Yeah, I was like, yeah, fam. Look, take what you want in it. Yeah, just obviously leave a little bit for someone else in it because I'm gonna give my stuff to my neighbour in it. Yeah. So I said, yeah, just take what you want. Just leave a little bit behind, though, and I'll give the rest of my stuff to my man next door in it. Yeah. So he almost he pretty much cleaned me out. Took my toothpaste, took fucking noodles and all that oats and that shit. Couple cans of tuna as well. Yeah. He took that stuff and that, and then I called in uh, my neighbour. Who so the one that I mentioned a couple of times who got life, the Somalian you. He got life, and he's the one that I've mentioned. That I said, "Oh, um, you know, he's going to get his mom to send his bed sheets in and get settled in." So I called him in. And I said to him, "Brother, I'm going home today." You know, and he's like, "Oh, all right, cool, man. Take it easy." And I said, "Yeah, but boom." Take what you want in it. Just take take the rest of the stuff in it. I don't need it now. Nah, I'm going home. Isn't it? So he's taking everything. Take a man's shower gel and that shit. And yeah, man. Um, obviously, prior to that, I called one of my older cousins, who used to always be at my house a lot. I called him up and I said, "Yeah, I'm getting released on the 19th of August, which is on Friday, innit? Yeah, like, can you pick man up in it? Like, when you get released from jail, you don't want to be really like." Riding London transport with fucking black bag and this bullshit or whatever in it. So I said to him, yeah, boom, can you um, can you pick man up or whatever? He said, yeah, no problem in it. Yeah, just give me the time in it. Yeah, and obviously give me the address in it. So I was like, yeah, boom, ISIS prison, SC twenty eight O N Z whatever in it. Yeah, boom. So about an hour before I was due to be released, before I went in my shower, I made a quick phone call. And I said, yo, cousin, you are outside, innit? He said, yeah, yeah, I'm there, innit? I'm just waiting in the car parking. I said, yeah, I might be like an hour or so. I said, I don't know how long it takes to get released or whatever. Boom. Called him up now. Um, so, yeah, so I finished the phone call now. Um, I've showered, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. I've gone down to the reception to get checked out or whatever. They made me sign some stupid disclaimer thing or whatever, innit, yeah? It's about non-firearms, yeah, whatever, in it. Like, yeah, you need to sign this thing to say that you will not possess no firearms in the next five years. Well, duh! You shouldn't be possessing firearms in the first place, yeah? No guns, no air rifles or whatever, in it. Yeah, obviously, in it. But you I also, when I also signed it, right, I was signing to say that I would not be in the possession and I wouldn't fire off any um, fireworks. I'm like, what? I'm a grown man at 18 years old. You tell me I can't fucking handle no fireworks or whatever in it for the next five years. So anyway, that was one of the parameters where you want to call it or whatever in it. Boom, they gave me back my clothes that I actually went to jail in. And when I went to court, I was just wearing like a black shirt, black trousers, and Air Force Ones. Yeah? Now I was wearing my Air Force Ones in jail the whole time anyway. Yeah? So. Um, yeah, I already have my Air Force Ones or whatever. Now, they were decent when I first got to jail, but after wearing them every single day, they got fucked or whatever. Again. So, boom. So, um, yeah, I changed my clothes or whatever, and signed the paperwork or whatever. And then, like, they give you, like, they give you, like, £50 pound or, like, something like that for travel. And yeah, they give you a free £50 pounds for travel or whatever. And, so boom, they gave me money for the travel. Obviously, I didn't need it because my cousin's picking me up, whatever. And um, yeah, they've opened up the the shutters thing, whatever, in it. Yeah. Oh, no, I think that it feels like a green button or whatever, in it. Yeah. And they open up the shutters, in it. As soon as the shutter opened, in it, yeah, the bright light from outside came racing in, yeah, and it just illuminated the fucking uh, the holding area, or whatever, in it. Yeah. And he's waiting the, for the shutters to go up and then bam, when the shutter was up, my man just gave me that nod to say, yeah, you're free to go, man. When I stepped outside, yeah, like it was only eight weeks, but I felt like I was in jail for a long time. When I stepped outside, like it felt so good to be out in the open. Like it felt so good. Like, I'm actually picturing it right now. Yeah? It was a nice summer's day as well. See, August the 19th, finish, yeah, so... Still in summer, it was a nice warm day. It wasn't hot or nothing like that, but it was a nice sunny day. I think it was probably maybe 12 o'clock midday or maybe about 11 o'clock, I don't know, in the morning, obviously. 
it was a nice summer's day. And I remember just walking across the car park and my cousin had this distinctive car that he used to drive. Um, it was like a kind of like a four by four looking off-road type of car. And um, yeah, I'm walking through, after I've left the prison, whatever, and I'm walking through the car park and I was just taking my time in it, just walking, like proper slow, whatever, and it, they're just taking it felt so nice to taking some fresh air. Now, obviously, when you're in prison, when you go in the exercise yard, you're out in the open, but you're still within the confines of the prison. But right now, at that point in time, I was free. Yeah, there was no one to tell me nothing, nothing like that. So I'm just walking, 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 walking. When I approach my cousin's door, a car, car, whatever, and it bust the car door open, spotting my cousin. He's like, yeah, man, how you been, man? How'd you, how'd you find it? I was like, yeah, man, not too bad or whatever, innit, yeah? And then, yeah, we just took off, man. I'm on, like, obviously, I don't really know South London or whatever, innit, but I just know I was in Thamesmead, SE28. And uh, we, we hit the fast rolls, like, the A whatever, I don't know, A2 or whatever. I think there's a roll called the A2 or something like that. Yeah. And, yeah, man, we're just on the fast rolls and that, and we're just driving and that. And I wound down my window and putting my hand out the window and like just letting the air glide through my fingers and shit like that. It was a good feeling to be out of prison, man. Trust me. Trust me. Never want to go back to jail, man. And then, yeah, I didn't tell my mum that I came, what, that I was coming out of prison. So I said to my cousin, don't tell my mum. He said, yeah, no problem. I won't tell your mum, innit? So I didn't, I didn't tell, I didn't tell my mum that I was coming out of prison. So we've gone straight to my probation because when you come out of jail, you've got like three or four hours to turn up to probation, right? Or else you get in trouble, yeah? Because when you go to jail, say for example, you get a four month sentence, you do two months and then you get two months on license. So if you do anything wrong, like if you do anything bad in that time that you're on license after you've been released, you get sent back to prison to serve out the remainder of your sentence, yeah? So like after I came out of jail, like within the first week or two, I punched up some guy on my estate and yeah, the community officers came running and if I didn't run off, I could have got went, sent back to jail over a fight. Uh, so yeah, um, I had to go to probation, so I didn't even go home. This time my little sister's born, you know. Like when I was in jail, I'm not too sure if I knew whether my mum was having a boy or a girl. So I think I sent her... Did I send two birthday cards or so? I can't remember. Or maybe I knew she was having a girl. I can't even remember. But anyway, I sent a bir- I sent a birthday card um, to obviously my my, my baby sister now and my little sister now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I sent a birthday card because I knew my mom was gonna have the baby on the thirteenth of August or whatever. Innit? So I sent a birthday card or whatever. Uh, so yeah, so I didn't tell my mom that I was coming out of prison, and then. I went straight from jail, straight to probation. And yeah, we all drove past my house and that, but I went straight to probation and had my probation meeting is like half an hour or some bullshit like that. And then yeah, boom, jumped in my cousin's car, went straight home. And yeah, man, it was a nice feeling to just give my mom a big hug, man, after not seeing her for like, yeah, two months, basically. Yeah, yeah, eight weeks, two months. So yeah, gave my mom a big hug. As said before in that video, um, the London riots and that my my front door was all broken and that. So I said to the man on the wing, like when the London riots was going on, that like, I would have been there. Like disclaimer, yeah, I wouldn't get involved in no rioting or no lo- no looting right now at this age, yeah, because I'm a sensible man now. But back then, when I was 18, oh man, when the London riots was going on, my eyes were fucking glued to the fucking TV screen. I've never found the news so entertaining, you know, when the London Rats guy was the most entertaining thing. That's all I cared about, like what was happening outside you know, in the real world, you know? So I was telling the man I'm on the wing, like, yeah, I bet the police will go to my house to look for me because they thought that I was probably involved in the London Rats, you know? But luckily they wouldn't have nothing on me because I'm in jail right now, isn't it? So yeah, you know, I didn't, there's no way I could escape from jail to go and loot and riot and then come out and then, and then go back to jail. And I want no, I make no sense. I'm not on DCAP yet. So 
yeah, I approached my front door and the door was all smashed. So I thought, oh, okay, cool. They raided the house or whatever. I said to my mum, I said to my mum, well, when did they come to, this is why my cousin, this is whilst my cousin was at the house, isn't it? So I got going through the front door, I gave my mum a big hug or whatever, innit? Yeah, boom. Obviously, I've gone to see my little newborn sister or whatever, innit? Yeah. First time I've seen her, I picked her up or whatever, innit? Yeah. Gave her a kiss and that. Like looking at my little sister now, it's my little sister now, it's my little baby, innit? Yeah, boom. Then after I asked my mum, like whilst my cousin was there, innit? Yeah, like, I wiped him with the door, innit? Like, She's like, oh, the police came in. I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, cool. That's expected, isn't it? I'm like, when did they come? And she said, oh, um, like early July, mid July. I'm like, or oh, end of July. I'm like, what July? Are we talking about like the London riots didn't kick off until August. Like, I think it was August the sixth. I said August the eleventh, but I think it was August the sixth or something like that. Isn't it? I'm like, the London riots didn't kick off till like August. So why are they coming in July, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'll chat to you about that later, innit? Yeah. So, when my cousin went, I'm like, oh, 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 so what going for the door, innit? Like, why did they come? Yeah, and she said, oh, they, they had intelligence, yeah? So, you know, watching this right now, yeah, you can just take a guess what that might be, innit? Yeah? So, they had intelligence, yeah, that you was up to no good or whatever, innit? So, a man's run upstairs now to see if my up to no good was still there, innit? Which it was. So, I was like, rah, man got lucky because if they found up to no good stuff, that's a two do one right there, isn't it? Yeah. So they would have gone to my house, raided my house, found whatever I had in my house, and then I could have, I would have still been in prison. I wouldn't, you, you, it's so mad, yeah, that like you can get arrested whilst being in prison. And one of my cellmate, he got arrested whilst in prison, yeah. They thought he was involved in something, right? So they came into jail, arrested him, took him to the police station, interviewed him, yeah. So they took him out of jail, yeah, whilst he's in prison and took him to the police station to interview him and they brought him McDonald's on the way as well to try and like sweet him up or whatever and to probably try and get him to snitch or whatever, innit? So, yeah, if they had found whatever in it, yeah, then, yeah, I would have got more time added to my sentence. I would have been doing an extra year easily on top of my sentence, yeah. So, um, yeah, luckily they didn't find it or whatever. Oh, fuck. So tired. Luckily, they didn't find, you know, what I was up to, whatever. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. But the, but, but the foolishness didn't stop right then and there, though. I was still getting into the cool fisty man up and all that, eventually getting stabbed and all that nonsense. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. It was nice to to be back home and sleeping in my own comfortable bed, getting to eat a decent fucking meal after eight weeks of eating that shit food, man. Prison food is just bland, just bland food, literally. Dead food, like. Yeah, man, it felt like my mum's, my mum's food, like my mum's good cook anyway, but the prison food made my mum's food come like it was a fucking five-star Michelin restaurant. Or something like that. But yeah. Yeah, man. Also, when came out, you had a bit of size to me as well. Um, yeah, man. But man soon lost that size because I weren't going to the gym and I weren't eating like I was eating. Like, in jail, you just eat for the sake of eating. You eat because you're bored, innit? Like, um, when I came out of jail, like, obviously, I weren't, I weren't bored or nothing like that. I was ghosting, though. I was ghosting. Like, even I said, like, earlier in this video here, especially the video yesterday, I appreciate what you have and, you know, don't take things for granted because there's other people who would love to be in your position. Like, even I even said, like, there's men that are in jail in that video, guilt trip you, innocent people in jail who'd love to be out free on the street or whatever, innit, yeah? And when I came out of jail, obviously, I didn't come out of my house for the rest of the, the day when I first came back. Um... But in the morning, I woke up at four in the morning and I went for a run. Like, for me, that was a luxury, just to be able to even go for a run at four in the morning. So I went out for a run. And imagine, I see one 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 guy from my area, he's actually a rapper now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I see a guy from my area, he's like, well, you're out, yeah? I'm like, yeah, fam. 
because he must have heard, oh, Jay's in jail or whatever. Isn't it? But I didn't stop. I just carried on running or whatever. Isn't it? This guy's out at four in the morning, probably coming back from a shop. You know these men, you know these party boys out here. Isn't it? So, uh, yeah. See, man, and then I... Um, yeah, still on a ghosting thing. Like, I'm not leaving my house until it gets dark. I don't even know why I'm moving like I'm fucking wanted fugitive, like not leaving my house until it gets dark or whatever, innit? But uh, Saturday night, yeah, was it Saturday night or Sunday? I can't remember, innit? I got a phone call from one of my friends. My friend, friend and me, my friend's phoning me. I'm like, well, go on, fam. He's like, yo, you're out, yeah? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how did you know? He's like, oh, your mum told me. I was like, oh, my day. So basically, my mum knew that I was coming out of prison. I tried to surprise her. She knew I was coming out of prison. Because as I said before in yesterday's live stream, they, the prison organised, like, accommodation for you, yeah? They want to make sure that you're not homeless when you, when you leave prison. So they'll put you in a hostel. Yeah. Now, obviously, they knew I lived at home with family. So they got in contact with my mum and made sure it was all right for me to come back because they don't know what relationship I had with my mum beforehand. Like, just because I've given an address, that don't mean that my mum wanted me there. You know, they, you know they, they've seen all types of craziness, like, you know, people in prison. So they, there's certain times a man will give all address and shit like that, but he don't live there or his mum don't want him there or his mum said, if you go back to jail another time, then you're not allowed back at the house no more, or whatever. Anything. So, yeah, they must have contacted him and said, yeah, Jay's coming out of jail on August the 19th. Is it okay for you to come back? Or whatever. So, also, my mum said, yeah, it's all right, whatever. Um, yeah, so my mum knew. So she told my friend at the time, yeah, he's coming out on Friday. Now, he phoned me on like, I think it was Saturday night he phoned me. He phoned me Saturday night. And he said, yeah, man, I didn't want to call you the day before. So yesterday when you came out, I wanted you to relax for one day or whatever, innit? Yeah, but obviously, yeah, let me come link you, innit? Yeah? So he's come now. And yeah, we just stand outside my house chatting for like hours to kind of tell him about Joe and that. Now, he's never been to Joe. Eventually, he did go to Joe. What happened was he was involved in the London riots. He robbed a fucking, uh, he burgled a shop in Wood Green, because Wood Green people were looting and rioting in Wood Green, and he cut himself, and they found the fucking blood in the house, in, 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 in the shop, on the floor. Maybe there was some blood on some glass or something like that. Right? They found the blood on, on the glass, and they matched it to his DNA, right? Like, they matched it to him, because obviously he's been nicked before, so obviously they've taken DNA samples from him and stuff, from it. And yeah, he got nicked, and he got yeah, he went to prison for burglary. And he went to prison for a little while. I mean, I don't know, like six months or something like that. All because he, he decided to loot. Yeah, man. Not worth it. Not worth it. I remember when I was in prison, a couple of my brethren, when I was in, they went in, I came out and they were still in. Uh, one of my brethren, well, he was in jail from what, from August until, let's say like April, maybe even May. So he spent a good look all of, what, eight months in jail or whatever, all for trying to do a dumb move and didn't even get nothing from it. All he done was got a chase and got a sentence. But, so you live and you learn in it, but um, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I remember the day the day that I went to prison as well. So, uh, you know, like when you're a teenager, like your mom like kicks you out for a couple of days or whatever, innit? So I was staying at auntie's house or whatever, innit? And I came back to my mom's house after being at my auntie's house for like a, a week or something like that, innit? Came back to my mum's house. I was at my mum's house for a day, yeah? One whole day. The next day I had court and I knew I was going into prison. I think one of my friends, because I have a couple of men that live on my estate, one of my friends lives close to like the end of his road, right? 
or the beginning of his road, he lives close to. And he said he was at his window and he saw me walking past his house and he knew I was going to court that day. And he said, when I did a knock for him after court and he didn't receive a phone call from me and when he called me, my phone was off, he knew that's it. Jay's not coming back. That even my mum as well. I'm sure my mum said something along the lines of, yeah, after I didn't return home after a few hours, she knew he was gone. Yeah. Like literally, like I came back for one day and yeah, when I didn't return home at like three or four o'clock or whatever to change my clothes or whatever in it or just to say that, yeah, I'm cool. When my mum phoned me, or whatever, she knew, yeah, he's coming back for a little while, and he's gone now, and he's gone.